This is a short video to show you how to cut your grooves in your Sostec Pro Golf Club Adapter. Um, prior to this video, you will need to have cut your club to uh, 13 and 3 quarters inches. And um, also, you know, make sure you regrip this prior to doing this if you want a new grip. Um, we highly suggest you use irons for this um, because they uh, hold nice and tight and they've got a big enough hole for our adapter piece. So we have these included templates um, that will help you find the appropriate distance from the end of the club. Um, and uh, you can see if you look at the adapter, there's a, a short part uh, on the bottom and a long part on the top. And so what we're going to do is uh, cut this so the holes match up with the sleeve, which will allow us to tighten everything together. So you can see on the sleeve here, uh, there's a bolt that's a short bolt and then there's a bolt that's a long bolt. These two guys will go together uh, and slide inside of the club. And you want the bolt that's furthest from the end on the top um, and the bolt that is shortest on the bottom. So you can see when we slide that in there, it's gonna line up with the grooves that we're going to cut. And of course, just double check this prior to, uh, to starting everything just to make sure you've got it right. But we've got the one that's longest on the top. So what we're going to do is take these included adapters um, and this will help you find how far down to cut. You just slide it on the end um, and you're going to want to make sure that this is aligned with the center of your shaft. So it's going to need to be aligned with the center of your shaft where that dot is on the club. And what you're going to do is cut about a quarter of an inch down. Uh, it can be a little bit wider to give you some side to side movement. Um, and we've got a shorter one here for the bottom. And so, uh, you know, once the groove is in there, you'll have the groove cut on the, on the first side. You can take this piece out, but I'm putting it in here to show you the center. You'll want to align the shorter one um, with the center on the bottom. Okay, uh, so uh, that will be in there, of course. And um, you're going to repeat the same process that you did for the top. So on this bottom piece, you're going to start from the short guide um, and then, of course, grind from the short guide down towards the club about a quarter of an inch. Um, and you know, while you'll do this, you'll want to uh, test fit by putting in that captive nut sleeve just to make sure everything is aligning appropriately. Uh, and so when that's all done, you will be uh, ready to put your captive nut sleeve in and install this adapter. Um, and you can see once again, the long part will be on the top, short part will be on the bottom. So um, here I've you know prepped the adapter. I've already put the screws in with their, uh, or the bolts in with their nuts. Um, you can see my grooves on my adapter. And um, once again, I'm just gonna slide this captive nut sleeve in. And you can of course see that the bolt that's furthest away from that little TN is uh, on the top. And the one that's closest to it is on the bottom. And we're gonna slide that in and it's gonna line up very nicely with my grooves. See, I can see them on both sides. And so, uh, you know, what I'm gonna do is just make sure this is centered on the club uh, and then also align it with the screws and we're gonna slide all of this in together. You're gonna wanna double check the alignment here to make sure everything's gonna line up uh, cause that captive nut sleeve is a little tight inside of the adapter. So we got it lined up, gonna slide it all the way down. Alignment is still good. Make sure you push it all the way in. It's gonna sort of fit in the end there. And then we're gonna take our screwdriver and start screwing in our bolts. Um, you're going to want to, you know, make sure as you screw this in that the adapter is not separating from the club. That means it hasn't found um, the nut hole. Um, so if it hasn't found it, you can adjust things a little bit. You can see I'm moving the bolt a little bit here. Uh, and you're just going to want to move that around until it finds the hole. If it doesn't find the hole, you'll probably want to pull the adapter out um, and just retry sliding things in to get things lined up. So, um, you know, on the uh, on the bottom here, I'm going to start screwing in the bottom one. Um, and you can see the bottom one actually finds this hole quite nicely. I found that uh, when they find their holes, everything starts to line up a lot easier because the way the nut sleeve uh, slides inside and how it clamps together, it kind of helps things align. So we're gonna get this one in, um, you know, all the way here. Uh, and then we're gonna finish the bolt on the other side. You know, as you screw these in, it's going to be cutting grooves in the plastic, so there should be some resistance. If you get a lot of resistance, once again, try doing a little uh, realignment just to make sure everything is lined up okay on the inside. Um, so we'll do the top one here, 
Took me a little bit to get the hole going here, but everything starts to pull itself in together. And so we're just gonna start tightening both of these. So this guy's found its place. And as we bring them together, it's starting to tighten that captive nut sleeve inside. So it's kind of like a clamp inside of the iron, um, pulling everything together. So this is where I usually check to see alignment. I like to align the center of the club where the little dot on the handle is with the bolt. Uh, make sure it's on the center line. And then of course, start tightening things up. Um, you're gonna wanna rotate doing the top bolt first and then this, the bottom bolt uh, and then check tightness. You can tighten these guys pretty tightly um, and eventually you'll get it to the point to where everything is, is nice and secure. So I'm just tightening these up. We'll give it a little test. Still got a little movement, so I can tighten still a little bit more here. And on the bottom. And just a little bit more. And that should do it. So everything is now nice and tight. I can see that it's aligned. And uh, just a little bit more here, just to make sure we got it all nice and secure. And this guy is good to go. So you're ready to use this in your app. So just use the included setup instructions and you're good to go.